On the payments team, it's your job to validate that our customers really want the solution that we're offering. And we do that by collecting their actual credit card information. We're going to collect the information, but luckily we're going to use a service called Celery so that we don't actually charge their credit card information. All we're trying to do is measure intent. So let's take a look at exactly how we do that. In Celery, you're going to go into the Products tab and click New Product. First thing you're going to do is give your product a name. And then after that, you're going to give it a specific product URL. If you've got a picture or you want to add one, you can click Do It Here. And then after that, you're going to add your actual product price. So I'm going to call this one $9.99. And then that's basically it. You're pretty much done from here. You can now view the product. So there's a special landing page that you guys have for this product. You can send someone to that page if you want, and then they can go and simply check out and buy your pre-ordered product. Or you can take this URL piece here. That's the, the idea that we came up with. And you can go into Celery, and this is going to hand off to the landing page person, and they're going to put it in as iframe. Make sure they put it in as iframe, not overlay. And then they're going to get this little notice that says, hey, preview it to take a look. Now you can preview the actual product that you've just created on Celery here embedded in your landing page. So now someone can go to your website and actually have the same form you saw elsewhere where they can go in and they can actually pay for your product on your website. I'm just going to remove this item so we can start fresh. And then I want to show you some, some more advanced things that we can do. So if you want to, you can actually enable a campaign. This is going to turn uh, your pre-order page into a crowdfunding page. Now we just save this product, and then if we go back to the same landing page we had before, no ch code changes required. We just refresh the preview, and all of a sudden our pre-order page is now a crowdfunding page, including the number of units sold out of the total number that we're going for. <coughs> Now in this case, you can see we've got zero units sold. If we want to sort of bump that up so we can add some more validity to our test, you're going to go in and enable coupons on the advanced menu. Then you're going to go in and manage your coupons here. Now you're going to go create a new coupon. Uh, give it whatever name you want. I'm giving it free stuff in this case. You're going to set the value at a percentage, and then you're going to say 100%. This is going to be basically a free order. I'm going to put in 100, that's the max number of times it can be used, I'm going to save the coupon. Now what you can do is you can go back to your pre-order page and you can actually purchase some of these items. You can do up to 10 at a time. I'm going to start with just one in this case, so you can see one in my pre-order list down there. If I click on the payment section, you can see the total right now is $9.99, but when I put in the coupon code, free stuff, and then hit enter, you'll see automatically my total is zero. So we've got coupons enabled here as well. And then I'm going to go and fill in my information so that I can actually process this payment. And then once that's done, we see a thank you notice. If we refresh the page, you can see that we now have one sold out of a thousand. So if I want to make that bump that up a little bit to maybe, you know, I let's say I'm going to do 81 units sold. And the reason why we're doing this is just so that if we're running a, a test here, we want to make sure that people aren't scared off that no one else has bought before. So we're not going to stuff the envelope so much uh, that we're going to skew our results, but we want to make sure that people feel comfortable that they're not going to be the very first person to buy this product. So now you can see we have 81 units sold. So that's how you can get started with, with uh, Celery. Now you know everything you need to to launch in an hour. Feel free to play around and experiment as well. This is your chance to learn, but do it quickly because remember, done is better than perfect. All right, I'll see you when you launch.